Hey there, I'm Kat, and this is Bruising Reviews. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure how much you can hear me right now, so this may be a total bust. Also, if one of my family members comes out of the sea, which is loud, then also I'll have to stop. Okay, so uh, I just finished reading Bleed For Me by Michael Robertson, and I really enjoyed it, actually. It was a crime thriller about psychologist whose daughter's best friend is basically the prime suspect in her father's murder and he wants to find out what's going on and there's like another case that's like mutually involved because his ex-wife is sort of dealing with that and it was really interesting I really enjoyed it I'm tending to find with crime thrillers at the moment that I find certain aspects have been quite predictable and I didn't find that with this one. I found it was just really written well and I was really impressed with that. It's the first one of Michael Robertson's books that I've ever read and I'm definitely planning to pick up another one by him. I definitely really enjoyed it. So yeah, there's at least that. I've definitely got that out of it. The main character is, suffers from Parkinson's disease and he always calls it uh, my friend Mr. Parkinson and it's really interesting how that's dealt with so it's quite interesting to see uh, a character who is dealing with a debilitating disease and that's quite, you know, that's quite nice um, to see it in a main character, particularly one where he's like, of a story where he's using his brain and that sort of thing. I'll just give you a brief glance of the sea because, um, I'll take it a break. The sea. Yeah, I honestly, I don't really have much more to say about this book because I don't really want to go into it too much. Because I think part, part of like, the beauty of it was that I didn't know what was going to happen and that it was sort of unraveled as I went on. There were a lot of uh, twists and turns of thinking, oh well, could this be going on? And then, oh, oh, this other thing could be going on as well. And it was interesting. If you're into crime thrillers, I'd definitely say that that one's a really good one to check out and I'd recommend it. So maybe check it out. I have a feeling that I'm going to be reading a lot more of my career with them. And uh, this is where someone tells me that I'm pronouncing his name entirely wrong and you've not even been able to hear me this entire time because of C. You can see, she is loud. That's all I've got to say on the matter. And uh, if you like this review, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!